Hello, Toyzilla! As always, I am Mr. Kapow, a.k.a. Michael Powell, your voice of Toys Alive, and by my side, as always, is David with that Kung Fu grip. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been practicing. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. David, have you been watching Disney Plus? No. I went, ah. I went to D, uh, the, the Disney Expo, and I had the option to sign up there for the low, low price, and I, I did not do it. What? I was like, I'm, I'm watching too many shows right now. It's worth I it, man. I can't it keep up. It is worth it. And I'm sure our audience is probably watching like shows like The Mandalorian. Okay, no Gummy spoilers Bears, here. No spoilers. Uh, Boy Meets World. Okay, that's old. All that you jazz. Can, you can spoil Gummy Bears and Boy Meets World because <laughs> if you haven't seen it by now, you're probably not going to see all it. All right. Well, as always, if our audience has any questions or comments out there, they can make them. Just keep them slightly PG-13 because while it is nighttime now, we still have rules and regulations. We do. And we and don't want to get kicked off of Facebook. This is a Disney episode. Another yeah. <laughs> Disney episode. So we want to Disney to be happy with mm -hmm. us. So... We're going to be talking about Disney, as you can see by the background, uh, and some Disney stuff that you may not know is actually Disney. Um, yeah, Disney owns a lot of stuff. They own the world. <laughs> just throw up that graphic, Miller. I, I was saving this, but let, let's just see some of what Disney owns, because they own everything. Um, okay, what, what, let's throw out one thing that Disney owns that is now on their new network that uh, you might not have thought of. Um, let's say The Simpsons, for example. Uh, because that's they acquired Fox. Yep. Now they acquired Fox all their um, IPs, mm -hmm. not Fox Sports, but they do own Married with Children, which you don't think that's. I don't Disney, think that's right? gonna end up on Disney Plus. <laughs> they said it's gonna be a family-friendly streaming service. So what's gonna happen with Married with Children? We want the the movie or the reunion or something. Hey, four, hey I'm I'm down with Al Bundy. Okay, four touchdowns in a single game. Oh yeah, I mean, come on, Disney needs to bring that back. That's, that's wholesome family, you know, content there. But The Simpsons is really not any better. I mean, admittedly, right? Not true. But they true. love Simpsons. It's already on there, right? Well, I got to say, um, the first few, at least the first season, that was pretty wholesome. The first season was a little dysfunctional, but still pretty, <laughs> pretty wholesome. Yeah, no, do you think that uh, Simpsons is now going to be censored by Disney since... Um, well, actually, yes, because there is one episode missing from Disney Ooh. Plus's Simpsons. It's the episode that, uh, where was it? Uh, was it uh, Bart's friend who thinks he's Michael Jackson? Yeah. In prison, in, right? No, in a mental institution when Homer Who, who actually to, is yeah, voiced by who, Michael who Jackson. By Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. episode is missing. Yeah. 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 My mom, who's visiting over there from Washington, D.C., she remembers that episode, uh -huh. right? She's yeah, a big we, Michael we have Jackson a, fan. We have a slight, uh, we have a, we have a decent size in studio audience tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. My my parents from Washington D.C., uh, Edie and Erno, mm -hmm. came out tonight. <laughs> but yeah, there's uh, honestly, I gotta say this. First of all, Disney Plus is actually. Hey, David, a really give me a minute with your photos. There, it's giving okay. me some trouble. Okay. okay. Dis Disney Plus is actually really affordable. Even the trial yes. service right now for like a week, it's a buck. Oh, really? It's a buck? It's now? a buck to just watch it for a week. Okay, I'm gonna wait till all the episodes of Mandalorian up, <laughs> and then I'm gonna try it. Well, even then, it's <laughs> what six it. six dollars and ninety nine cents each month, and or yeah. sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents for an entire year. That's that's not bad. Which is like five something. It's like five that's something a month. That's affordable. Yeah, that's very affordable. Yeah. Okay, and guys. Also, if you if you have Verizon, mm. you get it. Disney Plus free for a year. Oh. You have Verizon? I don't. Ah. But I have T-Mobile and I get Netflix. So that's not bad either. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> same. Maybe switch to a, to a Verizon and get it for a year. Same, same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there's a lot of really cool Disney properties on Disney, uh, Disney Plus right now. What's on Disney Plus right uh, now? See. What can I watch? The first episode of uh, Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. So they're rolling this out. You can't, like, it's not like Netflix where I can watch the whole season at once. No. I have to wait. It's kind of like, um, what was it? Uh, hmm, not Amazon Prime. Like, like TV. <laughs> yeah, it's actual TV. Yeah, it's like actual TV. But, but you don't have to, like, watch it at a certain time. Yeah. 
Do they take the episodes down at one point? No, or? no, it's, it's up. Once it's up, it's up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait until they're all up, and then I'll subscribe. Well, they also have uh, one of my favorite Disney movies, a Goofy movie. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, that's up. We also have, as we said before, a bunch of ABC shows like Boy Meets World. Yeah. yeah. I'm really hoping at some point we get Family Matters. I, oh, I, need, I love Family Matters. I need some Urkel. I need some Urkel in my life. Urkel is, uh-huh. is the bomb. And then there's so, David, I, I, it might be the format or something, but some of the photo, some of your photos aren't uploading. Oh, okay. So whatever, whatever, whatever topic you talk about, I'll try to upload the okay. photos. If you but, can, uh, but if, if it doesn't can. come up, uh, I'm sorry about that. So the the um, Disney owns everything might not come up, but um, we have two photos for that. I will say this: at least Disney doesn't own Nerbot yet. <laughs> you know what? Given the chance. Yes. That's why I said, yeah. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be an upgrade. So let's let's hope for that <laughs> at some point. Uh, let's see. There's also uh, some of our favorite cartoons from our childhood, like DuckTales. Well, obviously that. Uh, Tailspin. Oh, Gargoyles. The That's whole trending Disney on Twitter. Afternoon, yeah. which started with Gummy Bears. Uh-huh. And There's also Chippendale yeah. Rescue Rangers. Yep. Uh, like before, Simpsons. And King of the Hill. King, all the, I don't um, think King of the Hill is not on. It's on oh, Hulu. it's not on. Hulu's okay. on. It's on Hulu. You're right. It's on Hulu. Um, but Dark Disney still Duck. owns that. Yeah. D- Dark Darkwing Duck, Duck is, on. is on? Yep. Darkwing Duck oh, is on. Oh, yeah. And also the 90s X-Men. Oh, yeah. Yep. Seriously, Love that, that intro just always jazzes me up. Yo, copyright. Okay. We're badly humming it. Even if we're like badly humming it. Don't sue us, Disney. We're We're trying here. Okay. But yeah, it's really worth it if you're a big Disney uh, Disney fan, and also mm. there's like stuff from ABC, like a lot of cartoons, a lot of animated series, like the Gummy Bears. Yes, that's on Disney Plus. Black Cauldron, that's on Disney. Now Plus. I understand Forky from uh, Toy Story is actually has yeah, his yeah. own show. Yes, has his own, on, f- own show. It's a short show, mm-hmm. but also uh, one of the uh, it's a new uh, was it High School Musical show? I don't know. I, I'm not into that. <laughs> And then uh, Marvel, if you're a big Marvel fan, there's uh, two shows that you have to check out. There's, uh, I believe, The Rising Stars is one of them. That's like the yeah. up-and-coming uh, Disney a- heroes. series. And then there is What If, which is, that's what I'm that's, really uh, excited about. That's not up yet. It's going to be up soon. Um, right yeah. now, let's see. Uh, on a Marvel side thing, there's The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. They actually recently showed a really cool image mm. of the actor that's going to be playing Baron Zemo putting on the purple Baron Ooh. Zemo mask for the first time. Yes. That's really cool. That's awesome. Uh, there's also WandaVision, uh, Loki, which is going to apparently tie into the next Doctor Strange movie. Then there's the What If TV show, wow. the Hawkeye show, uh, Miss Marvel, which I believe is going to be an animated series, I think. Um, a Moon Knight show and also a She-Hulk show. So there's a lot of stuff wow. coming from Marvel. No, there's a lot. Yeah. And I, I think the main reason I didn't subscribe, honestly, is that there's so much content that I, I just worked a little too hard here. I don't have enough downtime to watch <laughs> it all. So that's Fair the main enough. reason. Fair enough. I'm going to wait till there's a holiday mm. or Toyzilla gets you know blown to the ground and there's nothing for better well, for why me are you do. tempting fate? Why are you I don't tempting think fate, it's man. really going to happen. Will, will the <laughs> building get demolished in the... I don't think it'll happen. Stop tempting fate. If it happens, stop it. Okay. Stop it. I'll watch. I'll stop. subscribe to every you know, yes. Disney show and watch it and just stay home and be a couch potato. Um. <laughs> but also, not just Marvel. One of my favorites, as you can see right here. Oh, yeah. And also That's up here, there's going to be a lot of Star Wars stuff. A lot stuff. of Star Wars. Lots of super hyped about that. Like okay. uh, a rogue, uh, like a prequel Rogue One television series, live action. Yes. Um, also a live action Obi Wan TV show. Ewan McGregor is going to be playing Obi Wan again. It's supposed to be taking place uh, after the prequel movie, mm. but before the original trilogy. Okay. Before he beca- becomes like a space hobo. Very, very cool. Yeah. And then also, it's going to be the only place you can watch. Season seven, the final season of Clone Wars, the animated series. Oh, yeah. no way. Okay, mm-hmm. that is huge because I know yeah. based on the amount of toy sales we have from Clone Wars here at Toyzilla, mm-hmm. uh, it, that is hot. That is oh, a yeah. hot series. So, okay, uh, you done talking about the, the network? Or yeah, we, well, let, uh, if you want to keep going, we can keep going. I, oh, I, no, 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 no. It's fine. We're not, we're not actually being paid here by Disney to do this, so. <laughs> Uh, I would like to talk about some of the things that Disney owns 
that you wouldn't think Disney owns, uh, and maybe Disney really shouldn't own because they're not they're not going to do much with it. Let's True. just face it. Um, so let's let's go down the line, and, and anyone watching right now, chime in uh, in the comments and tell us something that Disney owns that you don't think most people know that Disney owns. And we already mentioned since they own Fox, they own King of the Hill, they own uh, Bob's Burgers, they own uh, you know Simpsons, all that stuff. Um, but let's let's go to something that you probably don't think they own. Do you remember that um, uh, series called Vikings? Yeah. Um, well, it's part of the History Channel, mm -hmm. which Disney owns, and yep. so they own the Vikings. Yep. They, are, they have uh, um, some new shows actually just being released for uh, National Geographic, which is one of them is a show about like uh, was it a, what's his name? Um, I am blanking. I can't believe I'm, he plays uh, Malcolm from uh, Jurassic Park. Oh, jeez. Um, Jeff this, Goldblum. Just Jeff Thank Goldblum. you, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Jeff Goldblum has, has a show on uh, National Geographic. Okay. Wow. Um, now, Disney owns some stuff that they actually do own, but they call they, they don't call it Disney. So, mm -hmm. like, for example, Pulp Fiction. That's Disney. Now, that's the most yeah, well, gory, it, violent, bloody... It makes bloody... sense because Samuel L. Jackson, as we all know, is a Disney princess. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Yes, so despite all the blood and gore and language, which we, we're not using here tonight because my parents are in the house. Um, but I'm supposed uh, to use it anyway. <laughs> I, it why do I everything. have to be the moral compass of the show? <laughs> I shouldn't be the moral compass of anything. I slip sometimes, but my heart's in the right place. Uh, but, but anyway, it's, it's good that Disney does take risks and, and goes for like, you know, kind of edgy content, but they hide it and say it's, it's another company, you know? Mm -hmm. Whether well, or is the company or that they bought? Buena. Okay, well, like ABC. 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 Yes. They bought. They bought Fox. They bought. Like Disney's. Disney has money. Lucas. Yeah. Okay, so they own. They bought. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe they bought Maker, which mm -hmm. has the the popular yep. program uh, Epic Rap Battles of History, mm -hmm. um, and they they pitted two creators against each other. I mean, it's it's kind of gruesome stuff and also a lot of language as rap sometimes has. Mm -hmm. But they pitted Stan Lee versus Jim Henson. Yep. Now that's not really That's actually that was a really cool that rap was a good battle. That's a really good cool rap battle. Is it would you say that would be Disney though? If Disney doesn't really Kinda. Kinda. Kind of kinda because it's still it's educational. Because they do rap about educational things. Okay. And also it's colorful and honestly it's like look at the Mandalorian. People like uh, dozens of stormtroopers die in that in the first episode alone, and there nobody's batting an eye. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and there are two Disney, basically Disney creators, Stan yeah. Lee and uh, yeah. Jim Henson, yeah. uh, who are both basically owned by D Disney. Yeah. All their properties. Oh, I do also so. want to say, there's some really cool movies from uh, from yesteryear. Mm. That's on Disney Plus. I'm really hyped about. I just want to list them really, really quick. Oh sure, go ahead. A kid in King Arthur's court. Oh yeah, love that. Um, blank check, escape from Witch Mountain, flight of the navigator, mm. Kazam, Shaquille O'Neal, man, Shaquille O'Neal, yeah. Newsies, yeah. The Sandlot. That's all on Disney Plus. Yeah, and they even have the. Do you remember way back in the day the Disney um, made for TV movies on the Disney Channel? Oh yeah, yeah. We have those. We have some of those. As you well. got some of those? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, Blink, Brink, Halloween Town, Johnny Tsunami, and Zeon Girl of the Twenty First Century. <laughs> They're also on Disney Plus. Nice, nice. But there are some stuff that Disney does own. Disney. What does Disney not own? Let's try to figure that out here. Uh, like maybe five percent. Five percent of the internet. <laughs> yeah. I'm DC, DC, the, yeah, true. Okay. DC. Warner Brothers owned DC, uh, but I, I think it was close at one point that Disney was going to buy it, but then they, they backed off. Um, so that's good. Mm -hmm. There's some things. We do, do we want Disney to own the world, really? I don't or know, no. is it better if there's competition, man? Competition. Yeah, competition to yeah. make stuff better. You know, I, yeah. I think that's. I mean, just look, good, at, uh, look at the world of wrestling right now. WWE is finally getting some competition from AEW. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and that's another thing that Disney doesn't own right yet. What do they not own yet? World Wrestling Entertainment. Okay, good. I was I wasn't sure on that one. I wasn't like 
I was, I'm researching right now to see if there's anything they there, don't own. They don't own that. Well, I will say there are some okay. some really cool uh, movies that's actually non Disney Plus. That I'm actually a little disappointed. A little mm. disappointed. I'm hoping they'll make it to Disney Plus, but I know there's some um, contracts and stuff like that's licensed from other online streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. Yeah. But I'm hoping, or or like you know, properly movies and property that's too new yet to be on any streaming service. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's no, here's a quick list of some stuff that I'm disappointed on. That's non Disney Plus. Not, that's not there. They None of the Mighty them. Ducks movie. Oh, none of the, the movies. Mighty Ducks. Or what about the animated series? That's on Disney Plus, but none of the live action movies. Wait, wait. So the animated series is. Yeah. But not the live action. Yeah. Okay. The, the spin off is, but not the original. Yeah. I mean, come on. Come on, what Disney. What the hell, Disney? Plus. Come on. I need, I need some. What was so good about Emilio the Escobar series? Teaching, like inner city kids how to play hockey. But it was just funny that the animated series had nothing, nothing to do really with, with the actual movies, live action movies. That no, came no, before. it's it, uh, the they were, TV show was about a bunch of alien ducks from another dimension who has a magical ma- mask yeah. that crash lands in Anaheim, California. And starts playing hockey, and nobody cares. They're giant anthropomorphic ducks. Yes. Well, you, wow, you know more about it than I do because I, I admit I watched I have that not, show as a kid. I watched like maybe five <laughs> minutes of that and kind of tuned out. So it, I, I will say the show. It, I watched the show mainly for the fact that it reminded me a little bit of another show back in the day called Biker Mice from Mars. Okay. Even though Biker Mice from Mars were was a lot more animals were big after yeah. Ninja Turtles, yeah. which really shot that. Thing. Biker Mice was another actually thing, at least Disney more had own, more of an edge. God. Had more of an edge. Please don't don't sell. Uh, Ninja Turtles to yeah. Disney. Uh, oh, another. Uh, this is a Disney uh, <laughs> right. made-for-TV movie. Sky High was oh, not, it's not on Disney Plus. It's not on there. Okay. Sky High was an awesome movie. Oh, it's got Sky High was in the theaters. No, no, but it wasn't. It's not on Disney Plus. It's not Disney Plus. Oh, it's not on Disney Plus. That was a great movie. No, no, that was a great movie. No. Okay. It's, no, seriously, that was actually one of the the first was it superhero movies. Yeah. You know, that was released, like, right before, what, Iron Man and all that stuff happened. That's, that's just awful. Yeah. Then we also had um, Cool Runnings. Cool okay, Runnings, now, cool not runnings, even on I have Plus. a nice history with Cool Runnings, because I, my, my first jobs in Hollywood was working for Susan Lando, mm-hmm. who produced Cool Runnings. And so I, that, the Jamaican bobsled team, I mean, that just, that's genius. That's genius comedy, yeah. and it makes sense for Disney. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got a nice heart. Disney Plus. That's why I think what of the hell? I think of Disney. Uh, oh, so. you remember, you remember this, this movie? Angels in the Outfield. Mm. That's not mm. on Disney. Young Jordan, uh, was it Joseph Gordon-Levitt? It's not on Disney. Okay. Let's talk for a minute about, uh, also I want to bring up quickly that this past Sunday was ToonCon, which uh, I, I had the pleasure of exhibiting at. Um, uh, you know, thank you, Scott and Lauren. Uh, so they, I, my opinion, I'll, I'll tell you about that show in a minute, but... Um, we, I met up with some creators of shows, including Butch Hartman, um, and uh, and man, they, they make some amazing shows. And thankfully, uh, some of them are owned by Disney, some are not. Mm. But I'm gonna mention one now. You tell me if you think it's owned by Disney. Okay. Um, is this Disney or is it not Disney? Uh, there's Snookums and Meat. Do you, I do you remember that show? Don't think I saw that show. Okay, it's basically Ren and Stimpy, okay. but with a uh, another cat and a dog. <laughs> no, no, I remember Cat Dog. I remember okay, Cat Dog. Beavers. That's okay. Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon, not Disney, but uh, Schnookums and Meat. Nope. I don't okay, know so show. it's a gross-out comedy uh, in the vein of Ren and Stimpy. Owned Disney created it actually. Okay. They did Disney created. It. Okay, uh, another one. Um, Eek the cat. Do you remember Eek the Cat? Yes, I remember Eek the Cat. Okay, if you don't remember it, throw up a graphic, Mellow, when you can. I believe uh, Eek, Eek the, the cat. cat. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's an actual cell that we have here. Uh, and I'll talk about cells, too, in a, a second here. Because uh, some people don't know what these are. Um, but every frame of animation in the... Basically, for, since the dawn of time to the 90s was all done with cells. Um, and cells are uh, hand-painted... Um, 
basically on this, this clear plastic material. And that's the way animation should have been done. And it's very hard to do, but this is, uh, yeah, okay, and it's got green on it, so I'm sorry. Uh, let's show a different but, one. But uh, with Eat the Cat, because... What do you think, Fox, Disney? No, because Fox owns Disney now, they own Eat the Cat. They own the, proxy, yeah, by correct, proxy. correct. And uh, Mad Jack the Pirate. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm Also, Life with Louie. And Life with Louie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they own Louie Anderson. Okay, but I bring up those two shows because uh, they're both created. Actually, all three shows um, uh, I involved uh, Bill Kopp, who is like an incredibly talented guy, uh, a creator, voice actor. He actually did the voice yeah. of Eek the Cat. And he was at ToonCon this weekend. I got to catch up with him a little really bit. Cool. And uh, since we are Toyzilla Live, uh, and we're talking about toys. Mm -hmm. We mentioned the only toys ever done, they didn't do any, I, I believe, for Mad Jack the Pirate, but they did some for Eek the Cat, mm -hmm. and they were Burger King toys. Yep. So we're wondering, will Disney ever do anything toy-wise or animation-wise again with Eek the Cat? unless they release the series again on Blu-ray and as a special little add-on thing, I don't think they will. Okay, Disney, does, the question is, does Disney even know that they own Eek the Cat? Does someone there know, and are they willing Probably to not. license it out? <laughs> Probably not. That's what we both thought. <laughs> and that's very sad. Disney, do something with Eek the Cat. Do something with Mad Jack uh, the Pirate. Well, just, um, you know what? Just kind of umbrella all those shows under just nostalgia Saturday morning cartoon you know, thing. They, they couldn't and then really do yeah, that. And then release it as a kind of a, like an umbrella thing. Well, like, okay, people remember Disney Afternoon. Because yeah. it was a block of animated programming uh, when you get home from school and you could watch. Yeah. And then it's the same thing as Saturday morning cartoons. Mm -hmm. You know, back back in my day, there was something called like TV mm -hmm. and they would program <laughs> television shows to come on at exact times and you'd have to watch it at the exact time. So so we had Saturday morning cartoons and we had, you know, the afternoon, Disney afternoon. Uh, I, I would like to see that again. Some form. Oh my god! Like Disney Afternoon had gargoyles. Yeah, yeah. And gargoyles is on Disney Plus. That's a that's a good yeah. that's yeah. good. It is. So so anyway, more more things that Disney owns that they they might not even know they own. They probably don't care. They're dig uh, they're digging into their. I think. I think in two I want to say two, late two thousand twenty two early two thousand twenty one. Yeah. They're going to start digging into. Um, not just the Disney vaults, but also the yeah. Fox vaults. I think so. And stuff like I that. think they will. And, and already at this point in time, there's an adult fandom that grew up with oh, yeah. those shows that you can profit off of. Uh, and, and I'm going to put it out there. Now that we own a uh, toy manufacturing company, tell us what toys. Again, go to uh, the Toychirama Facebook page. Tell us what toys you would like to see us make. If uh, uh, Melo could put that link up in chat, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And, Sorry, uh, which one? The uh, Chibi-Rama? Chibi-Rama. Gotcha. Um, uh, dot com is our uh, uh, website, um, but you can write any of us and just tell us like what stuff you want to see. My question is, would you like to see either Eek the Cat or Mad Jack the Pirate as a toy, as oh, like a modern toy? I wouldn't mind. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I, I okay. kind of want to see want a little Life with Louie one, just so I could have a little, like, chibi Louie Anderson, like, well, running around. He had a decent number of toys. It was mostly, uh, again, junk food toys, like my dad calls it, <laughs> junk food toys uh, that were made, like, at Burger King and, uh, yeah. and McDonald's. But there were a lot of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Um, now, go going back to ToonCon, let's uh, show this uh, Darkwing Duck oh, yeah. uh, cosplayers that came to my booth at uh, Toyzilla. Um, and it was, and one also, of the highlights yeah. for me really was that Darkwing Duck reunion. Yeah. And like I said before, Darkwing Duck is on Disney+. Plus. Yes. All of the episodes? Yep. Or did all they the, cut all a couple the episodes. that were like... I believe it's all the episodes. Okay. Seriously, there's a lot of stuff on Disney+. Plus. I, it just went live yet, like, what, 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time yesterday. So I haven't really had a chance to go through their entire catalog yet. Yeah. But there's there's a lot, there's a lot I, of stuff. Darkwing Duck had a lot of episodes. I gotta say, um, seriously, isn't it free right now too? Disney Plus? No, no, no it's not. Uh, it's like I thought you get a free trial period. Uh, it's a dollar a for dollar, like a week. A dollar for dollar a week. for a week, I believe. So you can. Uh, oh, it it's for free. A week. It, you get a free year if you're a, if you have a Verizon account, I believe. Mm. 
Uh, so anyway, Darkwing Duck, they had a reunion panel at ToonCon, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I was like, no matter what I'm doing, I'm exhibiting, I'm trying to you know, make a little money, but no matter what, I'm going to that panel. And I, I caught at least the, the second half, yeah. which was cool, and I got to ask a question. That's um, cool. And, and uh, there on the panel was amazing Jim Cummings, who's mm-hmm. the voice of Darkwing Duck, uh, Tad Stonis, who created Darkwing Duck. For oh, also, Disney. Jim Cummings also voiced ha- Hondo Hondo in Clone Wars. Oh, he's done a lot. Yeah, a lot. He's done yeah. a lot. I mean, he's the, he's the lightning bug in uh, you know Princess and the Frog. He's uh, what is he? Winnie the Pooh. Come on. <laughs> I mean, that's like a list, you know, voice oh, talent there. According to Min, who's in chat right now, the store oh. is on fire. Okay, Min should be putting that fire out, but, I mean, thankfully we know our sprinkler system works great yeah. because the store got flooded in October, so now, but uh, apparently, yeah, it's not working right now. So this store is on fire. Thank you, Min. <laughs> are you watching this store or are you just, like, watching the show? I, I think <sighs> both, I hope, both. Okay, he can multitask. Um, okay, so Darkwing Duck, okay, and who else was there? Michael Bell, who was Quacker Jack yep. on the show. Um, and who else was on that panel? I think that was... You were the one there. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if anyone else was. But uh, the creator, the voice of Darkwing, Michael Bell was Quacker Jack. Uh, I feel like there was one more person. I'm sorry. You're probably hopefully not watching this show. Uh, but it was a really great panel because I learned so much information. Oh, I'm sorry. Launchpad. Yes. Launchpad was there. I should say oh, the actor's name. DuckTales is also on... Uh Oh yeah, DuckTales. Yeah. Uh, I'm really hope. Yeah, I'm really hoping they do the move. What is it? Uh, was it the new the DuckTales uh, cartoon oh, series? Oh yes. Okay. To Disney Plus, I believe it is. If it hasn't been already. Because I, I had, I did ask uh, Tad. I was like, you know, since you, you know, you created uh, uh, Darkwing. Um, wh- you know, do you feel that um, there should be a new Darkwing Duck animation? Like well, I love what they did with uh, Darkwing Duck in the duck, the new DuckTales universe. That, that's what he said. He said yeah. he really liked everything they're doing. Yeah. Basically, Darkwing Duck in the new Dark, uh, new DuckTales animated series, he's pretty much just Adam West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's I- an actor that plays a superhero. He, he loves it. And he said that the amount of detail they put in the new DuckTales, I mean, they actually go back way back to, like, the Carl Barks comic books. Oh, yeah. And they, they photocopy, like, like you know, the, the material of the comic mm-hmm. book, like, the, uh, and then put incorporate that into the backgrounds. I mean, they do a lot of really good work on yeah. the show. And they take in directions that the original didn't do. Mm-hmm. Like, like who really is, is uh, Yui doing yeah. Louie's mom? I mean, they never... Explored that. It was always Donald. They explored Donald, it. They explored it on this one. They sure do. Yep. Della Duck. It became on. a whole story. She stranded in the moon. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was fantastic. So I, I think they did a great job with that. Um, let's see, Mello. If any of those Darkwing Duck, uh, uh, let's the talk cosplayers a little bit about like some up. of the toys um, from these uh, series that we oh, were talking okay. about. Okay, there, there's another like, one. We have. Oh, there you go. Of we have, yeah, we have uh, quite a bit of, uh, okay. what is it, uh, cells, actually, from the anime series. Oh, we do. It's well, not, not yeah. many. These are incredibly hard to find. Um, oh, we have we a good, have num- we have good number. We basically two. A good number is two. Is uh, no, I'm saying, like, <laughs> we have all, two. Like, of all our cells, we have a lot of cells okay. in general. Oh, in general, yeah. Yeah. In general, but I'm just going to say we only have two cells. Oh, and by the way, that print there. Signed by Jim Cummings, the voice of Darkwing Duck, was done by Katie Henderson, an incredibly talented artist. Cool. She did a mashup. Can you tell what she's mashing there besides this, uh, Darkwing? Yeah. Uh, v from Vendetta. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Call me D. I, 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 so I know my pop culture, that David. That print is available right at Toyzilla. I don't and, play. And the, the proceeds from it go to the charity Music Saves Lives. So if you buy Very that cool. print here, it goes to a charity. So Very that's cool. that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so I guess the, the cosplayers, I want to show you there's some really cool cosplayers at uh, ToonCon that dress, cosplayed as the whole cast of uh, Darkwing Duck. But, um, oh, there, oh, well, there they are, yes. Go. Okay. Yeah, we see Can you Iron, identify them? Iron Beak, Iron Beak Launchpad, yeah. Darkwing Duck, and I want to say Beaker? I, th- I think you're right. Yeah, Beaker? Like, like Goslin's friend? Yes, I think you're right. I think you're right. Honker, you mean? Honker, honker. Honker. Yes, Honker. That's that, Honker. That or, no, no, wait. That actually might be... I think girl. it's Honker. No, that's not Honker. That's uh, actually Drake Mallard. Drake Mallard? The alter wait, ego of You're blowing Darkwing my Duck. mind. Drake Mallard and Darkwing in yeah. the same place yeah. at the same time. So, okay. Yeah. Seriously, 
if you need a <laughs> if you need a ringer for one of those trivia shows when it, when it comes to like old school cartoons, holla your yeah. boy, holla yeah. your boy. Okay, and uh, some other really talented people who were there. Uh, oh, the voice of April O'Neil. Oh, cool. She signed uh, my my playmates. Oh, there you go. There she signed it. Uh, so you shouldn't I, just call it playmates because that sounds some, like something else. My playmates action figure. Yeah, Sorry. there you go. Okay. So back in the 1989, I worked at Toys R Us. Rest in peace. Um, and they're I, supposed to be bringing it back. Okay, this but not not here though. Not in LA. Yeah, it's not coming back in LA. You can still go to it in Canada right now, uh, but it will be coming back in select states and small locations. But anyway, I I worked there in 1989, and I was a st- stock clerk. And April O'Neil was was only one per box, where, while the turtles you get multiples of them. Yeah. And, and so I hoarded all the April O'Neils. I hid them <laughs> down <laughs> till the end of the day when I could actually buy them with my, my tiny uh, Toys R Us discount. Um, and, and I stockpiled them. So I have a pretty big collection of April O'Neil action figures, which uh, a couple of them I brought to the show and sold, but uh, one of them I got signed. So Very cool. there's a story behind that. Um, and you know, let's see what else. Um, oh, okay. That's all I have. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, actually, let's uh, let's move on to uh, a little something different, a little something yes. heavy. Heavy, heavy. Yes. Our friends oh, over no. at Wizards of the Coast uh, sent us a little something, something. This is a very heavy box. Okay. Like, feel how heavy it is to be. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. I gotta go back to the gym. Ugh. Okay. Beefy box here, so we're gonna unbox I a lot. I have no idea what's in there. Should I clear some space? No, we'll do it here. Do okay, it here. Uh-huh. you can see it. Yeah. You can. Anyway, while you're doing that, I'm gonna it. talk about. Uh, we uh, we these have some awesome keys. Simpson toys, which are now owned by Disney. But uh, you can buy all these at the store. This is my favorite, the Tin Action Toy Homer, because tin is just vintage, you know. All right. Okay. Like I, said, uh, I always love how Wizard of the Coast pack their stuff. They do it very carefully. Hard box. Oh, you, can, you can't see it, though. Let me move this. All right. Okay. Nice, sturdy box. Okay, sturdy box, and then bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. Yeah. That's how I pack things as well. Now you, and they pack you it tight take too. care. All right. We, we got like this little oh. leaflet here. We got, Whoa. That's a lot of books. We got, Jeez. Here you go. Hold this one up. Okay. See, that's uh, let's see. Jeez. Dungeons and Dragons will release two new products on November nineteenth, which means th- these aren't even in stores yet. <gasps> eBay. Yeah. N- no. No, I'm keeping We're these. Not doing this. <laughs> uh, I'm just two new products on November nineteenth, which is Eberron Rising from the Last War book and Dungeons and Dragons versus Rick and Morty box set. Oh no 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 no. Huh? There's a Rick and Morty in yes. there? Yes. Uh, enclosed oh. are early copies of both products for you to review and include in a product roundup or holiday gift guide. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about Eberron here first really quick. Okay. This one is Eberron Rising from the Last War. It's a 320-page book which provides everything for players and dungeon masters who want to play in the Eberron setting, which is a war-torn world filled with magic fueled technology, airships, and lightning trains. Very steampunk. I'm going to say $49.95. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm looking at the back of the oh, book, okay. and I see the price. <laughs> the, well, anyway, the, this new... Oh, wow. This new adventure book actually introduces the first of a new playable class called the Artificer which fuses technology and magic. Players will be able to customize their characters mm-hmm. with four new races and 12 magical dragon mark tattoos. Ooh, that's really cool. That sounds um, awesome. I Dungeon, see there's dinosaurs on it. I'm Dungeon Masters can expect a new cache of tools, including a overview of the continent, uh, gazetter of the towering city of Sharn, and maps of lightning power trains and, and industrial workshops, plus a ton of new hooks and storylines for designing adventures after the last war. So, oh, apparently, oh. this is the regular release. And this one right here, oh, let's see. this is the collector's edition cover. Collector's edition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's got a metallic you know this, finish yeah, cover. You, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, what was it? Uh, John Carter from Mars. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah another yeah. Disney property. Yeah. And then let's check out the Rick and Morty thing, which I see right here. Oh, man. I want that bad. It's 
Rick and Morty. Speaking of Rick and Morty. Yep, we got the first episode this weekend. We got the first episode this weekend, and we next show, we're going to have the director of Rick and Morty on the show. Oh, very cool. I'll bring back this then. You know what? We'll unbox yeah. this. We'll unbox this Okay. our next show then. We'll unbox this on the show and play around. How yeah. about that? Yeah. With him. Because he should be the expert on Rick and Morty. Uh-huh. Since. <laughs> This one is... Oh, dude, the, yeah, I this love is, this already. It's, it's freaking Rick Dungeon. Wub, dub, dub, dub. Okay. <coughs> I can't do that without coughing. <laughs> dude, this looks really, yeah. really badass. Apparently, this one includes a 64-page rule book, The Lost Dungeon of Rickedness, Big Rick Energy, a 44-page original adventure, Dungeon Master Screen, and five pre-generated character sheets and 11 polyhedral dice. Wow. Well, that's really cool. When are we playing, pal? You know what? Let's just no. set up a time. Wait. So We'll set up a time and we'll play. Wait, till I, next have, th- I have a location. All right. All right. We're going we're to not crack this open until next, next episode. episode. So right. we can't play till then. All right. But. For, anyway, uh, let's see. What's, what, what, let's see. Let me uh, read this scene here for, 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 yeah, for all. Is... See, uh, D&D has partnered with Adult Swim to bring this box set Blending the world of Dungeons and Dragons with the mad narcissistic genius of Rick Sanchez, power gaming sensibilities, and it includes everything a dungeon master needs to channel their inner mad scientist and run a Rick rolling adventure for a player for up to five players, levels one to three. Wow, this is great. Yeah. Can, can you do uh, uh, Rick's voice? Because he wrote. Oh, yeah, yeah, Rick. Oh, okay, oh God, Morty. We're yeah. the back here. It's all right, all right. Gra- grab your pencils and uh, get ready to lose your mind. Ugh. Uh, I, 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 I made a dungeon, Morty. Well, it's more of a dungeon. It's a freaking masterpiece packed full of rickedness. Monsters, treasures, me seeks, bugbear butts, you name it. Since I made it, uh, as I made it, no, no, no one has ever survived the dungeons. It's a meat grinder, Morty. I made it to chew up the Jerry's of the world. <laughs> now, now, you mouth weavers in this dimension can experience my adventures writing integrity. So get your friends and get out of here, Morty. And oh, don't lose your butt. <laughs> I think that's fair. That's that's a Pretty fair good. impression. Pretty good, yeah. Fair impression. That's awesome. <laughs> good job, good job. But yeah, these will be released on November nineteenth to the general public. So that's really cool. Thank you, really Wizards cool. of the Coast, for sending us an early copy. Yeah. yeah. No, we should crack that one open on the next uh, mm-hmm. episode. Our next episode. For sure. So, cool. um, are you ready for some new toy news? New toy news. Yeah, let's uh, do it. Uh, Producer Mello, are you ready? All right. Well, because we're talking about Rick and Morty, I got some more Rick and Morty toys for us. Oh, to check out. awesome. Okay. So, producer Mello could put up the Rick and Morty uh, uh, More image. pops. Yep, we got more pops. Rick and Morty season four from Funko Pops. Dude, that's all one episode. Yeah. It features <laughs> uh, Teddy Rick with a bloody version chase, uh, Death Crystal Morty, Kirkland Meat Seeks, Hologram. Hologram, Clone Rick, and Wasp Rick. It's actually available right now. We, we ordered it. It's going to take us a while to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but we did order it. Let's see. Next one, uh, can you put up the Star Trek image? Oh. Like some Star Trek? Sure. Yeah, we got some uh, really cool Star Trek thing here. It's the Captain Spock statue wow. from Sideshow slash Dark Side Collectibles. It's a one of three statue. Mm. Featuring Leonard Nimoy as Captain Spock in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. It's about 25 inches tall, made of poly stone resin with a custom base, and it's actually limited numbered. Set to release in around October 2020 to December 2020. You want me to guess the price on this? Yeah. Okay. I've been low lately, so I'm. Remember, this is Sideshow, too. This is Sideshow. $2.99. Oh, you you are nowhere near it. Add a thousand to it. What? Yeah. Wait, wait, is this life size? Did you say? It's $1,299. Wait, how big is it? It's 25 inches tall. Am I am I missing something here, Mel? <laughs> like, was this like owned by Spock himself or something? Is, is it's about, like, it's about Nimoy, this big. Like, it's about autograph this. this well, and... it's also sideshow. Okay, who, it makes sense. L- let me just tell you this: we have a Star one Trek third, section. One third. One third. No one buys anything from our Star Trek section. <laughs> we have it discounted down to five dollars per figure for all the playmates and every playmate toys. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to be selling this at, at Toys Alone. Sorry. 
Unless, unless you pre-order order it. it. Yeah, someone order it someone now orders it. and give us a hefty mm. deposit. Like, you know, 20%. All of it. <laughs> or, yeah, 99%. <laughs> All right, next up we have... Uh, no, no offense, Sideshow. Can you put up a... It looks great. Deadpool. We have a Deadpool image up there. Okay, let's see this Deadpool. This is oh, the yeah. retro Deadpool from Hasbro for the 80th anniversary okay, of Marvel. Okay, we're definitely going to order that. That's this no one's uh, it's a six-inch tall figure featured with uh, comes with four different guns, two swords, and as you see, the package is that retro 90s action figure package. The toy biz. Uh, yeah. But yeah. well, the toy is Blister like mod- The toy itself is like modern. Yes, all the articulation. Super, it looks and super cool. Else. And it comes with another box protecting. I, I like think the blister these pack. might be a little more expensive than the average one. This one will be released 20... in December. Oh, this year. This year, holidays. Come to Toyzilla, yeah. yeah cause, uh, so guess how much this we'll one still is? We'll still be here. Uh, Twenty four ninety five. Let's see. You are off by five cents. Twenty five. Twenty four dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Close. Pretty. That's pretty close. darn close. close. Okay. All right. Can you, as always, I need my Star Wars fix. Can you put up a Star Wars image up for me? Yeah. Ooh. That's the Luke Skywalker Yavin Black Series action figure. Comes with a lightsaber, helmet, blaster, uh, blaster mm. training remote, and effects. It comes in a special comic book packaging set to be released this month, actually. Well. I mean, that should be the same price as the uh, Marvel Legends, mm-hmm. except the packaging is so darn fancy yeah. that I'm sure that boosts it up another 10 bucks. So maybe, let's say, $39.99. Right. You're, you're close. This okay. one is $34.99. Okay. Yeah, that was about right. Not too bad. Cool. Oh, and also, the last one we have up here is we got uh, Diablo. Oh because, yeah, because yeah, BlizzCon just recently passed, and this is where they, this is one of the toys that they unveiled. Nice, nice. From Diablo Four, it's the Lilith Premium statue from Blizzard Collectibles, made out of poly resin, uh, ABS, and PVC. It's twenty four point five inches tall, set to be released in July thirty first. 2020. Okay, now that's the same size as that Star Trek. Um, it's a, it's about, uh, about 0.5 inches taller. Uh, it's actually taller. But, but, but I it's, bet Blizzard. You it's, it's not, Blizzard. It's Blizzard, though. It's Blizzard. It's Blizzard. It's not Sideshow. I'm going back to my low ball. All right. 300 bucks. 300 bucks? You're kind of close. $499.99. Okay, okay so if I, I said like a thousand yeah. something, I would have been more off. Yeah, you're, so. you're close. Okay. Closer than the Spock statue. <laughs> but that's it for okay. new toy news. Let's, we got to talk about events coming up. Yeah, let's up talk too. about upcoming events. Um, I'll try to do this in order of what I know is coming up. Um, but so what's coming up this Friday, which we're very excited about, is the toys that made us. So, Mel, if you will, if you have that photo. Uh, it's the season three premiere, and as you know, we had uh, the first panel ever that Toys That Made Us um, had was here at Toyzilla. So uh, they're being very generous. They're going to be coming by, uh, sending their uh, producers uh, by Toyzilla um, on Friday, roughly around 8.30. Oh, uh, cool. We're doing the screen. You can watch all four episodes back to back to back uh, with, with snacks. No charge. Uh, here at our lounge from uh, starting at 6 p.m. to about 9, 9.30. Very cool. Um, so what are the four episodes, you ask? Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Heck yeah. Uh, My Little Pony, which... Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, hey, come on. My There's Little a Pony. whole demographic I for know, it. I know, I know. We're going to get some bronies in There are here, conventions for it. Uh, uh, wrestling, WWE, Woo! WF, and Power Rangers. Yeah, yes, yeah, that, yeah that was worth that's that was worth definitely time. got a big sec segment uh, with Scott Zillner, uh, who we know and love, uh, will be in there. Friend of the show. Um, and and better yet, you get, you're going to get 20% off all of these toys at our store, Ooh, very cool. which our wrestling figures are already only $5. So you're going to get 20% shabby. off that. Um, and Ninja Turtles, which are more expensive. But you'll get 20% off that. And My Little Pony, which we, you know we have a decent amount yeah. of. Um, which we actually just got uh, the My Little Pony... Um, uh, Magic the Gathering set. Oh, nice. So, anyway. So, that event is coming up, and then the following day is uh, Toysilla Swap Meet uh, number seven, um, which is a big one. It's always fun. Because, guess what? Yeah. 
holidays are coming up, Christmas, and you need to buy toys, and why not buy them at the swap meet? Because you'll find rare stuff uh, for really good low prices. Uh, come down to Toysville Swap Meet this Saturday uh, from 12, or I'm sorry, uh, 10 to 3. Okay. And cool. then next, oh, yes, very important. I almost forgot. The 18th. Uh, Mellow, if you will, the Funko Hollywood grand opening oh. of the store is happening on the 18th. And I guess who is waiting in line right now to get into that store? Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'll wait till the photo comes up. Uh, well, which one? The composite one or the, the? Just do the composite one, yeah. Since I think we're running out of time. We'll do that. But I, okay, we already know what's in there. Because we broke in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but my daughter, Nova, is already in line waiting to get into the Funko Hollywood store. Uh, now, this store looks incredible. It's got these big set displays. Yep. Um, it's got uh, a big Chester the Cheetah section. It's got Hanna-Barbera section. It's got Kool-Aid Man busting through the wall. Have they uh, announced the exclusive? And right? Yes, they have. Actually, that's the next image I'm going to show you. They have four... Four exclusives uh, announced for the grand opening. Now, they will, I believe, not be available any other time than that one day. And now you could have gotten a reservation uh, to come in at a certain time and get these exclusives. Uh, but I said, the heck with that. Um, I'm Toyzilla. I'm going to uh, send my daughter to camp out uh, for three uh, a them, week straight. Put them to work while they're young. Yeah, That's so th parody. there she is. Um, and then, Melo, if you will, the, the next photo shows the exclusives you can buy um, at the grand opening, which we're very excited about. Uh, there's a Marilyn Monroe. So first of all, this is Hollywood. So all, all the, the exclusives have shades. So oh, okay. that's what they figure. Yeah, it's Hollywood. Um, it's a cool location. It's right by all the stars there, mm -hmm. you know, Hollywood Boulevard. And also and nearby is actually one of my favorite bars. Oh, Scum and Villainy Cantina. It's a Star yeah. Wars themed bar. Not too far. Yeah. Uh, there's also Walking a nice distance. Irish pub. You can get uh, loaded and get loaded with pops. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so there are four exclusives, um, which we'll show you eventually. Uh, Don't forget the Saturday. Yeah. Um, so you're going to get your Marilyn Monroe. You're going to get your Chester Cheetah. Um, you're going to get your. Um, I'm blanking. Bob's Big Boy. Because, okay, remember why Bob's Big Boy? They started with Bob's Big Boy. That's where Funko always started. But the first bobblehead was a Bob's Big Boy. Uh, they sold it Sparky's at Universal, you know, City Walk. Um, so they always have to bring back the Bob's Big Boy. Um, and they all have, yeah. like, really cool shades. Uh, so Chester, who always has shades, I uh, believe he's flocked. Uh, the um, Marilyn Monroe is not flocked, because that would be gross. Um, oh, the hair, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Well, that'd be fuzzy little peach fuzz hair, uh, and the Bob's Big Boy, and then the fourth one. I'm, I'm waiting for the graphic. <laughs> which one? Which one? It, it says uh, set of four. Sorry. Set of four. I got set you. of four. I actually forgot what the fourth one is. Lack of sleep. Okay. Uh, the fourth one is. Da, da, da. Yes, Freddy Funko, of course. Oh, hey. Because yep, that's her mascot. There you go. Uh, so only at the grand opening, only for that one day. Uh, otherwise, get on eBay. You can buy on eBay right now for, like, ridiculous money. Very cool, very cool. Um, cool. And so that's all the events I think I had for the next couple of weeks. Well, oh, and Designer Con. Desi I was going to say, Designer yes. Con's coming up. Okay, we can't forget Designer Con. And Funko should be there as well yep. with some exclusives. Last year they had the Funko Pop cereals. Uh, which tasted about as nasty as you think. Um, yeah. Probably if you ate Funko Pops, it would take a, taste a little bit better than eating that cereal. Uh, but no offense to Funko, we. L I mean, I bought cases. Yeah, you don't of buy every... it for the cereal. No, you buy. Uh, it I want to remind. Pop. I want to remind the show that the Succubus Made Cafe is also this weekend. Oh yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. Succubus Made Cafe. Uh, sorry, th it's this. What Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Okay, same day as the uh, Pop Swap. Thank you, Mello. Uh, yes, yeah, Succubus uh, Made Cafe. There we go. Uh, Kiss it? Pink, uh, right here oh, right at here? Toyzilla. Okay. Uh, so November 16th, Saturday. Now, they've been here before, and, and people love this. Mm -hmm. um, they actually uh, get gifts for the maids at Toyzilla. We give them a discount. If all the maids will pick out um, toys, put them down in their sections, uh, and then... Uh, it's actually yeah, one of the maids' birthday good. there. Oh, The littlest yeah. maid. Actually, yeah. um... 
Yeah, she she actually had her um, birthday uh, today. Yeah. So. <laughs> Little Smay's birthday is to is we're gonna actually be doing gonna it be at the, there. celebrating it at uh, the Succubus Cafe. She, she's been our show before. Yeah. Um, Sabrina. Sabrina. Yeah. No, that her maiden Sabri name. Sabri-chan. Sabi. Sabi. Thank you. I was I was I knew it's Sabrina. I was like trying to remember her maiden yeah. name. Uh, Sabrina, thank you so much for being on our show. We're looking forward to having you back. She works very, very hard. Thank also, you. I want to put it out there that if anyone wants free general admission to the Succubus Maid Cafe, you can use my promo code, Mellow Mike, all caps, no W. All right. You can get, a, get general admission. As long as you have the code, you get in for free. Very Whoa, cool. very you hear cool. that? Post, that? post that down there, Mellow, as I'll well. I'll post it in the chat in right chat. now. And that's huge. And let's see. There's another event coming up that's, uh, well, technically next year, but it is coming <laughs> up because it's in January. Okay. Anime LA. Anime LA, yeah. yeah. So we're going to be there, too, mm-hmm. and uh, right across from the autograph area with all the mm-hmm. celebs signing their My Hero Academia uh, all right. pops. And I believe that's all we have, That's right? plenty, though. So um, where can we find you on the social medias, David? Oh, well, you can find me here each and every day, except for Monday, at Toyzilla. And online at Toysilla Store on Facebook and Instagram. And you can find moi everywhere on the interweb. But the most best place to find me is on my Facebook page, which is kind of a hub. It's facebook.com slash does stuff because, well, <laughs> I do a lot of stuff. So much stuff. Or uh, let's see my Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Twitch, which I'll be getting back to, into soon. They're all at Mr. Kapow. That's M R K A P A O. And let's see what else. Uh, there's, oh, I'm also the editor in chief of Suit Up Geek Out. We are a men's fashion and lifestyle site. And also my new project, which is on Facebook called Aesthetic Retro. So if you get a chance, check that out on Facebook, Aesthetic Retro. But until next time, be good, be great, be awesome.